How to crochet the Celtic flower motif. For this stitch, you will need a crochet hook. Special thanks to our sponsor, Scassell, for providing today's hooks. Today, we are using their Addy Swing Ergonomic Crochet Hooks in the size US 8H and a ball of yarn. Special thanks to our sponsor, Lion Brand, for providing today's yarn. Today, we are using their Cotton Ease Line in the color Sea Spray. For this stitch, you will need to know the following techniques. Chain stitch, slip stitch, single crochet, double crochet. To begin this pattern, we must create a foundation row of five that we will join together in the round with a slip stitch. Round one. We're going to begin by doing a chain one. Then we're going to start our repeat by doing a single crochet into the center of our ring. So we'll insert a hook, pull through once, and then yarn over and pull through two. Then we're going to chain one, and we'll do five double crochets into the ring. So yarn over first, then we'll go into the center of the ring and finish our double crochet. That's one, two, three, Four, and you can see that I'm actually working in the tail of the yarn from our foundation ring uh, into the stitch as we go along. So that way you can just clip it when you get to the end and you don't have to weave it in later. So that was four, and we'll do one more. So that's five. Then we're going to chain one to finish our repeat, and we're going to repeat that sequence a total of three more times. Um, and then we're going to uh, join it with a slip stitch at the end. So when we reach the end of the round, we're going to join with a slip stitch into the single crochet at the beginning of our round or the chain one actually from the beginning of our rounds. So we're going to insert our hook and pull through there and the loop on our hook. Okay, and that will end round one, which will leave us with four of these little petals here. Okay, so for round two, what we're going to do is we're going to slip stitch into this first chain space here then we're going to slip stitch into the next two double crochets. And basically what we're trying to do is just move the beginning of our round over into the middle of this petal right here. So what we're going to do next is chain one and we're going to single crochet into the same stitch. So we'll chain one, and then I think actually we're going to single crochet into this next double crochet. Okay, now comes the fun part. Now we get to chain 10. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, eight, nine. And ten. So let me just double check, make sure we got that right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
9, 10, I think that's 11. So, Okay, so always good to double check and make sure you got the right number of stitches. So then we're going to do a single crochet into the center double crochet of the next petal. So we're going to move over to the next petal, which is right here. And we can see we have single crochet, chain, then one, two, and here is the third double crochet. So we're going to single crochet into that stitch. So one, two, three. So insert our hook. We're going to pull through one and then pull through two. Okay, so we're going to make a nice little ring right here. And then we are going to repeat that two more times. One, two, uh, to make two more of those rings. All right, after we've done our two repeats, we're going to chain 10 more. Okay, so that should be 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Perfect. Okay, now all we're going to do is slip stitch into this first single crochet from the beginning of our round to finish the row. Okay, and that will complete round two. Round three, we're going to begin by chaining one. Then we're going to do 15 single crochets into the next chain space. So one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now we've kind of run out of space here, so what we're going to do is we're just going to shift all of these back along the chain, kind of squish them together, and then we'll, we'll spread them out a little bit more later, but that will give us some room to do the last five. So this will be 11. Oops. Got 12. Thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. So real quickly, you can just kind of even these out a little bit. So they're spread out evenly along that ten chain space. All right, that looks pretty good. So then, to finish up our repeat, we're going to do a slip stitch into this single crochet here. So we'll just pull through and pull through the loop on our hook. So we're gonna repeat this from the 15 single crochets in the, to the slip stitch uh, all the way around. 
uh, in these other three 10 chain spaces. So after we finished our last set of single crochets, we're going to finish our round by slip stitching into the first single crochet at the beginning of our round. And that will complete round three. So to begin round four, we are going to do two slip stitches into the next two single crochets. One, or one slip stitch into the next two single crochets. Okay, so one, two, total. Okay, then we're going to chain one, and we are going to do one single crochet into each of the next nine single crochets. So, let's see if we get this right. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay. So that should leave us with three single crochets left, not including the one that bridges the two or the slip stitch that bridges the two. All right, so what we will do next is chain five. So we're going to one, two, three, four, five. And then we are going to skip the next six single crochets. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So we'll be starting over here, I believe. Starting over here. And then we'll begin our repeat again. So we'll do another nine single crochets. And we're gonna repeat this sequence all the way around until we reach our last repeat. Okay, so to f finish the round, uh, we're going to do a slip stitch into the first single crochet that we made after these slip stitches that we did at the beginning of the round. So I'm just going to insert a hook in there and pull through both. And that will complete round four. Round five, we're going to begin by chaining one. Then we're going to skip the first single crochet and we're going to single crochet into the next seven single crochets. So one, two, three, four, five. Six and seven. Okay, next we're going to chain five. So one, two, three, four, five. Then we're going to do one double crochet into the third chain from our five chain space from the row row before. So we got one, two, three going into this thing. So we'll yarn over and insert our hook. Yarn over and pull through. Yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through the last two. Then we're going to chain five again. So one, two, three, four, Five. 
then we're going to do another double crochet into that same third chain. And we'll chain five again. So that's five. So what we're going to do is we're going to skip this first single crochet. Uh, and now it's actually going to complete our repeat. So we're going to start our repeat again by doing a single crochet into the next seven. And we'll continue on with our normal repeat three more times until we reach the end of the round. So when we finish our last repeat and we've done our chain five, we're going to do a slip stitch into the first single crochet from our round. And that will finish the round. Uh, so then all you got to do is break your yarn, fasten off, and weave in your ends. And that's how you crochet the Celtic flower motif. Here's another look at the finished square. Want more New Stitch Today? Check out our website at newstitchaday.com.